Hey guys, Alan Hain here, the Lawn Care Nut, with part two of our clean, simple, classy Christmas light installation. So the next piece of the puzzle is to go ahead and try to mimic what we've got going on in the roof line. So we've got the C7s up there, and they're spaced apart at the factory setting. We want to do the same thing on the ground, kind of just slightly outlining the beds, but really just kind of creating a little bit of an echo what you see up top. And the way you do that is you use these stake clips. So here's a couple pictures of what they look like. And uh, I'll link below to a video I did comparing the different types of stake light holders that you can actually get. But either way, that's what we're doing. So we're mimicking around, and you can see here how that kind of looks as we push these down on the ground. The key here is just keep them at the same height. Again, they're not all gonna be perfectly straight. Now these should be as straight as you can get them though, because they are closer to eye level. But really, it's, it's really about the spacing and echoing what you see up top, and then keeping them all at the same depth. Also keep in mind if we get a heavy frost, these will heave out of the ground, so push them down as deep as you can. Okay, now the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna accent with spotlights, and these are really cheap. Seriously, I think the holders for these I got for five bucks each, and the bulbs were like 99 cents. Now these are not LED, these are full just spotlights, you know, you get red and green. They're very hot, but they work well. And so you can see here, you just use these to kind of accent pieces of the house. Uh, parts of your architecture, or you can also use them to uplight a tree. But either way, these add this nice extra little punch that I think really kind of sets our displays apart here. Also, you'll see I do have some little green spotlights here. These are actually LED, so they're not near as bright. I kind of use these to accent towards the middle of the house to kind of just put a little bit of a green tinge on the front of the house there to balance out the red on the corners. But again, every situation is a little bit different. You can use red, green, whatever colors you want. You can even use white, obviously, uh, to go ahead and accent your house. Just spotlights are a quick, simple way to kind of add that extra touch, that extra professional look that some of your neighbors may not have so you can help dominate them. And then finally, we do want to add some sort of a little sign. I don't even like to light it up. I just like it to be kind of in there and I put a few bows in the bushes and we are good to go. Clean, simple, classy Christmas lights this year. So that's how I do it. I think that's a really good way for beginners to do it too. You can look really, really good for minimal cost and for minimal effort. I'm Alan Hain, the Lawn Care Nut. Merry Christmas to everybody and I will see you in the lawn.